I think we're in an exciting moment for the profession of landscape architecture because it seems to really be entering the public consciousness and for the first time. Hudson Yards East is a tremendous opportunity for the city to add to its palette of remarkable parks a spectacular plaza. I think different from many parks in that it's not a sort of pastoral park, it's not like Central Park or the formal tree-lined parks of Bryant Park or Madison Square or Union Square. Instead, it's really more of a large-scale urban plaza, much more in the family of Piazza Navona or San Marco in Venice. It has that kind of the city's living room quality that we hope to bring to the project. It's unique as a construction experience and as a spatial experience within the city. Construction-wise, you're on a platform over the active yards. So the eastern yards is six acres of open space on a seven-foot thick slab that's spanning the active train lines below. So the architecture remains around the perimeter, leaving this potential wonderful open space for the public. But then there's also the values that Related is bringing to the project, where they want to create a central focus that is a landscape or a public space rather than a single building at the center of the project.